Let's journey together. Over the coming weeks, you will learn a lot about the Munai Ki, a week at a time or day at a time, depending on a pace set by you, we will plant the seeds of the nine rites that are the Munai Ki. Together we will meditate, we will dance, we will journey and grow the seed rites deep within our beings using the fire ceremony. Deep peace to you on your path. Now for a brief overview of the nine rites as they will unfold. The first three are commonly known as the foundation rites. They are the healer's rite, the bands of power and the harmony rite. The first one, the healer's rite, a deep undercurrent of healing will be activated from within our core and we'll get to understand that healing can take place out on an etheric level, that there's no need for us to invite disease into our physical beings. It awakens our ability to heal ourselves and others. We then move on to the bands of power. The bands of power installs essential protections into our luminous energy field. It comprises of five belts of earth, water, fire, air and light. These are woven into our energy field and they offer us essential protections that help to break down any negative energies that are coming towards us. The third rite, the harmony rite. This assists in you clearing your past as these seeds will break down the sludge that is connected, uh, collected within your chakras over this and former lifetimes. And we will go through a chakra alignment in order to proceed. The second group of rites are commonly called the lineage rites. They are the seer's rite, which reawakens our ability to see the invisible world of auras and energies. Until around the age of seven, we all freely interacted with spirit, but along the way, life got in the way and we lost that ability. We will go through a series of attunements and the right will enable us to once again see and be the witness in our lives. The next is the day keepers right. The day keepers are the protectors of our mother earth and this right moves to heal the feminine divine within us. The third of the rites is the wisdom keepers right and with this right we heal the masculine within us and we restore our relationship with the heavens and the high mountains. And as a wisdom keeper, it will be your job to protect the ancient teachings and to pass them on to others when it comes your turn. The last three rites are also known as the rites to come. They are the earth keepers rite. The earth keepers reconnects us with the lineage of archangels who are the guardians of our solar system. With this right, we come to understand that we are responsible for every thought, deed and action and that a single blessing upon another can give them peace for seven generations. We follow on with the Star Keeper's right, which is the right of the time to come. It helps us to be responsible as co-creators for the future and helps slow down the aging process as we become conscious and responsible members of our society and the future. The last of the rites is the creation rite or the spirit rite. With this rite, we understand that we have responsibility for all of our life and that we bring into creation the life that we live. We have responsibility for everything from the smallest grain of sand to the largest cluster of galaxies, we are the custodians and we are to treat our life and our planet with the greatest amount of love and respect. The nine rites of the Munaiki are transmissions and attunements kept alive and handed down by a lineage of earth keepers. They are the wisdom traditions of the shamanic cultures worldwide. The external form varies from culture to culture, but the essence of the transmission is universal. What is handed down are transmissions of energetic seeds that when nurtured within you, quicken the path to spiritual development and enlightenment. They quicken our journey towards who and what we are becoming as a species. The seeds of these nine rites can grow within anyone. This is our human birthright, our path. 
the nine rites are brought to us from the Kero shamans of the Peruvian Andes. They are a path of fire, a path of lightning, a fast track to recognizing our true divine nature. Many have felt a calling from spirit and are awakening to make a difference in this world. We, as a people, are on a vision quest, living a vision and questing for more of who we truly can become. I have been receiving the same message from spirit for many, many moons. Arise, awaken, remember your true self as a radiant being of light. All this is a journey in space, time and energy. The Moon Aiki is rocket fuel for this journey.